So in classes, we generally start with the same escalation of fundamentals drills that start with sort of slow fire fundamentals and escalate all the way to doubles in practical accuracy. So we run the whole continuum of reactive shooting, predictive shooting, and sort of everything in between uh, as part of day one of gun skills or from onboarding a new private student. Uh, the first drill we do usually is trigger control at speed. Uh, in trigger control at speed, you're essentially putting your perfect grip together, aiming at a precise spot, and reacting to your timer by jamming all the way through the trigger. When I teach it, I do a little bit differently than it's written originally in the book in that I allow people to stage the trigger essentially however they want to start off and then stipulate less, more and more slack in the trigger before the buzzer goes off to basically demonstrate that, you know, a coarse, gross trigger pull can pretty much get the same job done as very tightly controlling the trigger to a certain point, out to say 15 yards, uh, as long as your grip is okay. Part of the issue with trigger control at speed is people tend to cheat it, like all drills, right? They'll cheat it by trying to make it as easy as possible by lowering the number of variables that are at play. Uh, the number one way that people will do that is by pinning the trigger to the rear. You know, as they pull through the trigger, they'll just pin it to the rear as opposed to resetting it in the air, which of course doesn't really set you up for success when you then start to take that drill and apply it to other speed shooting fundamentals drills like doubles or practical accuracy or what have you, right? So just to illustrate what I'm talking about, people will stack the trigger in, and pin it to the rear just like this, right? I want you instead, right, to snatch the trigger and reset it in the air. Okay, and you can see very easily just anecdotally how adding that additional motion back in would show you a lot in your sights, uh, which is then telling you a lot about your grip, but you don't want to ignore that or then silence that by not doing it. You want to notice that and work through it. So we designed a drill sort of in reaction to that that can help take the, the skills from trigger control at speed and apply them to other speed shooting fundamentals drills like doubles, for example. So we made this drill called, we're dubbing it at least for now, doubles on demand, where essentially you're going to do trigger control at speed live fire and you're gonna shoot two rounds. Sounds simple enough, right? Uh, as long as you do trigger control at speed the way I would expect you to, it really is. So we're gonna measure this at five yards, aiming at a very fine point, right? Get grip is put together, aimed at the spot, I'm gonna to react to the timer by jamming through two shots as quickly as I can. Okay, and that's, then we'll set it up again. too bad you can see on that last one right i had a little bit of a push and you can see the shots landed just under the paster i think the actual first shot time is a touch slower up around 0.4 which would not be acceptable for trigger control speed i want to see that be under about 0.25 okay so you can see easily some of the same skills that you'll notice in trigger control speed as far as pushing into the gun or having unnecessary tension start to come out a lot more with a drill like this uh it's it's nothing different than what you're going to learn from trigger control speed uh, I would just assert that it's a more demanding way to measure it as far as putting together more skills at one time, keeping it super, super real with the skills that you're applying so that when you then start to segue into doubles or some other speed shooting drill, it's a little bit of a stepping stone to sort of in between. It keeps things more honest uh, than perhaps trigger control SP would be. Uh, hopefully this is useful to you. Uh, follow us on Mason Lane Shooting and uh, Lane Shooting and Training LLC.